name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, after the Epiphany, you find in the first reading, St. John speaking about, you are children of God, you have received light, so therefore you must avoid false life. You must live a truthful life. The reason is you have received light, therefore you should not walk, you should not lead your life in darkness. You should not have false life. This is what St. John keep on telling us, especially till baptism of the Lord. Even in the gospel reading also, Jesus fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah. People will receive light, so therefore they will not walk in darkness. So therefore, today the first reading advises us, we are children of God, let us walk in the light. Let us uh, pause a while and think for a while whether we have that darkness of sin in our heart. If there is, let us feel sorry for that and ask his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose eternal word adorns the face of the heavens, yet accepted from the Virgin Mary the frailty of our flesh, grant we pray that he who appeared among us as a splendor of truth may, ge- may go forth in fullness of power for the redemption of the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John, chapter 3, verse 22, to chapter 4, verse 6, on page 240 of the New Testament. And we receive from him whatever we ask, because we were paid in our lives, and we were born in his And this is his commandment that we should believe in the name of commandments abide in him and he abides in them and by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us beloved do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to see whether they are from God for many false prophets have gone out into the world every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. Little children, you are from God, and have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world. Therefore, what they say is from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us, 
and whoever is not from God does not listen to us. From this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The word of the Lord. Kindly turn the page 574. Psalm 2, words 7 to 8 and 10 to 12. Let us pray together. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth. 10 to 12. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, with trembling, kiss his feet, or he will be angry, and you will perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are all who take refuge in him. Kindly stand for the gospel acclamation. you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew chapter 4 verses from 12 to 17 and also 23 to 25 now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested he withdrew to Galilee he left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Jubilum and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Jebulum and land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demonics, epileptics, and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, very interesting to see how always ministry of Jesus is uh, connected to St. John, John the Baptist. So he 
Jesus begins his ministry, ministry of proclaiming good news. After he is arrested, John is arrested. And also later on we see Jesus begins his Passover. When John the Baptist is put to death. So this is what we see that. Jesus uh, looks sign to begin his ministry. Ministry of proclaiming of good news and later on his passion after his death, John's death. But your brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Jesus is doing his ministry in Capernaum because Capernaum is one of the big, biggest town of those days. When John is arrested, he goes there and is proclaiming the good news because he is going to big town so that people, many people could hear his word. Many people could receive blessings from him. So that is what, you know, later part of the gospel we find. Because Kafanam needs you know, Jesus. You know, when we see the Old Testament, when we read the commentary of uh, today's gospel passage, we find very clearly Kafanam has badly needed of Jesus. So that is why Jesus goes there. And that is why many people also come to Jesus for healing and also to listen to his word. And Jesus chooses Kafarnam because people need of him. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we must share our love with people who need of our love. That is why Jesus says, what is the use of loving, what is the use of uh, loving your friends? There is no speciality. Loving your friends. Love your enemies. Enemies need your love. Enemies need your help. Enemies need your assistance. You love them. So this is what my dear brothers and sisters today and Jesus does his ministry in the area where people need his ministry, his love, his healing. So therefore today let us examine and see with whom we share our love, with whom we share our affection, with whom we show our mercy, with whom we show our kindness. Let us uh, reflect and see.
you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of our sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith of faith you know we should use the same formula whether you sing or whether you say it is against liturgy say so we must use the formula death resurrection come again say that resurrection. therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you are well as worthy to be in your mini- your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope bala rachi bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be cohabit eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. We have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with grace and truth. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. 
the Lord is with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ.